Green Thumb Industries reported a decent 14% increase in revenue. This included New Jersey. New Jersey is really going to be a big game changer for a few companies that are out there, maybe Tilt and a couple others. Nonetheless, look for even more revenue growth as New Jersey continues to ramp up. So while this is an initially a good uh, move for revenue, I wanted to give an update, show you what I'm still looking at, where my projections are for Green Thumb. I think it is significantly undervalued. This is the case for all cannabis stocks. Nonetheless, getting in now at the ground level on some of these stock prices where this thing is real close to all-time lows, regardless of the structure of what's going on, this is an opportunity to get involved in something long-term and really capitalize over a number of years. Let's look at a few things I'm looking at. Real quick, quick brief update. So if you're just joining my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. Here's what I'm doing. I've already done a thorough analysis on Green Thumb more than once. Nonetheless, I wanted to update with this revenue increase because New Jersey, I really think, is going to be a big player for a few companies. Uh, Green Thumb, obviously. Now, they will continue to move forward. The big structural issues right now for all cannabis stocks, MSOs here in the United States, is simply this. What's going on with cannabis federal legalization? Pretty much nothing. Fine. We do expect something to happen. Banking is a big thing, and that's probably where both the right and the left are going to compromise, and maybe they will push something through by the end of this year. That looks very likely. It actually looks likely after the November elections, which would be kind of surprising. Nonetheless, the NASDAQ stocks have started to jump a little bit. They're picking up off their lows. Green Thumb could easily be one of those that carries forward and moves up as well. We are looking at really low levels. I've got a chart I want to show you. Regardless of whether or not we see cannabis federal legalization now, this is a company that's just going to continue to build and build and build and build. Given that, Despite the fact that this stock has been pushed down by people who are operating, pushing these stocks downward simply because there hasn't been a real catalyst move to allow the masses to get into these OTC stocks, man, so what? Get in now. You're looking at a long-term investment that could really pay off over a number of years. The stock's down today. Okay, great. But let's take a look at some charts and I'll show you. Here's revenue. Uh, I mean, look at this revenue chart. Up, 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 up. This is what Green Thumb is doing. Ben Kovler has been doing a great job of managing this company. He's going to continue to do so. The only things I have uh, that I have to say as a caveat for the MSOs, U.S. MSOs, what are you going to do about international? No one is making a move internationally. California, 39 million. Germany, 84 million. Two times more. Might be just as liberal as when it comes to percentages, when it comes to uh, cannabis consumption. Not sure on that. But the medical companies are going to be switching over there to adult use. None of the U.S. MSOs are making that move. And to me, that's a huge mistake. These guys need to start looking at these international, tiny international companies you can pick up for 10, 20, 30 million dollars right now that are already establishing their foundations. So that would be the one thing that I'm saying about the US MSOs, they're behind the curve. You got a company like Tilray who's really starting to look significantly internationally and are going to do well because of that. Regardless, at this point, if, uh, Green Thumb continues to move forward with their revenue gains. We've got two more quarters left in this year. Let me show you the next chart I've got. This is uh, the revenue projections that I put together when I put together the discounted cash flow calculation. So we're asking the question, can we hit $1.135 billion this year? If they print exactly the same thing, doubling the first and second quarter, you're looking at about just shy of $1 billion. So the question becomes, can we get an extra 135 billion million out of the last two quarters? And I believe we're probably on a trajectory to continue to see bigger moves with revenue 
in the next two quarters. So this is the first quarter of New Jersey sales. You'll see continued increases there. Another issue though is, are we in a recession or not? Is this gonna affect these kinds of companies? Um, we got some other information. Now, of course, on my channel, I cover economics often just so that I can keep everybody apprised of what's going on with the broader market as well as cannabis stocks. Uh, we got some good news with supply managed ism numbers came out today and that showed that we're not exactly recessing at the same time employment is way too high would the federal reserve move forward to contract that whether or not that occurs will that affect cannabis sales for a company like green thumb and that remains to be seen uh, going forward in the next two quarters regardless new jersey and the other states are going to continue to print some solid revenue gains and so look for two more quarters pushing beyond where we are now for green thumb i think gtbif stock has a ways to go here's a weekly chart on gtbif again the you can see what happened in 2000 um, green thumb had already moved up significantly pr prior to uh the election and then of course what happened in february 2021 with all cannabis stocks where they just lit up the board since then of course there was a lot of sideways movement then a lot of movement downward um i could have easily just said 20 bucks that's going to be your low go long instead we're looking at right now 10 bucks it's it's crazy where these prices are they are completely outside of the fundamentals of what these companies can earn but the real issue is it's still an OTC stock. It's still federally illegal. So this prevents so many massive players who are sitting there saying, wait, you just increased 14% who those kinds of companies, those asset managers, those retirement funds, company, uh, big dollars like that can't get into these stocks. That's why the stock has been pushed down by short sellers because there's no one on the other side. Given that, you look at these prices right now, Green Thumb's going to continue to build, build big. Green Thumb Industries is going to be one of the marquees of the U.S. MSOs, period. I see significant upside. I'm going to maintain my price target on this. This is a solid company. They're doing excellent things. And it's just a matter of a process. If you're lucky enough to buy in at this stock price, you're going to be giggling one day. I want to say thanks for stopping by. If you like this kind of content where I break down cannabis stocks like this, feel free to hit that follow button and the bell letting you know when I put, post more content. There's also a free email newsletter where I send out saying, hey, listen, more content. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.